Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today I will be reacting to One Piece special episode called One Letter. So I heard about the news that One Piece anime is going on a big hiatus, a big break for the first time since it started airing, which is insane, it apparently won't be uh, pumping out any new episodes for half a year, man. And that's giving me a chance to catch up even faster, which I'm very excited about, but I think I still have quite a lot to go, man. I'm at episode uh, 843 right now, and you guys told me that it's okay to watch these special episodes when it comes to content, right? It should be spoiler-free for me, considering where I am right now. So, I'm really curious to see what it is about, man, because fun letter it can be so many things right nothing really comes to my mind other than uh, maybe some random kid from an island is like idolizing the straw hits or some shit and is sending them letters or or whatever i mean that has been the case already we saw throughout one piece even in fishman island right when kids thought of luffy as a hero right and they were talking about how straw heads should have like uh, merchandise there or something man so yeah there is that man but i really have no idea i'm very excited to check it out of course and share my reaction and thoughts to it with you guys so without further ado let's jump right into it let's go okay guys everything is ready let's begin let's see Ooh. Roger's speech. Bro, what the fuck? Look at the animation. This is Marine Farm. Wow. Bro, this looks so cool. Yeah, regular people doing this chaos. Wait, what did he say? Sometimes the majority of people do not aspire to be pirates and do not pursue the One Piece. Wow. Somebody is inspired by Nami. Bro, look at the clothes! Wow! Wait, 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 this is going way too fast. Who we'll make this delivery? Even the orange hair and everything. She's even trying to be like Nami. Adventure of life. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Yo, the animation style is so different, man. Oh, it's me. I'm... Yo, I love this. Oh. Wait, what the fuck was that actually Zoro? Frankie. Is this Water 7? Yep, there are there are these uh, Yagaras, right? Yo, Pauli! What the fuck? <laughs> there is Robin! Bro! What is happening? Is this a body? Did he too why in the newspaper the hidden message, right? During the time skip. Wow! A random kid got the message. She wants to deliver a letter to her. Yeah, it's packed. Oh, 
Oh my god! Oh girl, she's getting crushed. <laughs> you need more calcium. <laughs> They're going to the book concert. Is that the, what's going on here? Oh, Perona's ghosts. Wow. This is so fucking awesome. We are getting to see regular people discussing about Stalkets and so getting pissed. <laughs> Boss! <laughs> Boss yet! Oh my god. <laughs> Sanji would like that. Wait, was that Zoro that did that to, him, to them? <laughs> so quick as well. One of those two brothers. <laughs> Mistakes? Not a lot. Looking at the base. He's keeping Chopper's pictures! <laughs> he thinks the Chopper is cute. That's an interesting twist. I'm sorry, I should ask you for the new anti-pirate weapon. <laughs> and she thought that nobody would be interested in this, but it's Chopper who picked it up. He's not playing it yet. <laughs> she kinda reminds me of Robin as well, with her personality. Oh wait, so they were talking about them earlier. Her with that grandma. The younger brother from Green Grocer. Okay. So he's the younger brother. The letter! Wait! But he's also holding that pesky... Oh, that got hurt. What the fuck? Who the fuck is this bozo? What the fucking prick, bro? Oh my god. Complete opposite to how Smoker would behave. What's up? どこ入ってた。あれ。ええ。とりあえず水。とりあえず水。かきを食う。What the fuck? Edward Newgate, what the fuck, he had 504 million. Wait, is that? Yeah. That was his bounty. Holy shit. Wait. Really, though? I'm having a hard time believing that because we know that characters like Jack and Katakuri had. Around one bill, right? Only five hundred for white bill, though. <laughs> <laughs> now Sanji is there, <laughs> and they discuss about this up topic pretty often. Damn. <laughs> Oh, I love this. It's that key, right? That there's weapons. Eradicate the pirates. Wow. Yeah, he seems more serious. Oh my god! There was the shit out of him. <laughs> I don't like my brother. Damn. Wait, what? Wow, he was always taking shots at him, bro. Look at him being all beat up cleaning while he's there being below by higher ups, I guess. What? That can be Nami, right? 
is carrying these groceries while he is chilling with the girl. And that, of course, is lasting since their childhood, it seems. He's getting scolded by the mom, I guess, and he's chilling with father and drinking milk or whatever. Wow. We see him in the shadows here. Interesting. Damn, that's kind of rough. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this is Marine for this veil when Luffy and the others drop from the sky, right? Fucking interesting to see the perspective of theirs. Is that Ors's leg, Ors Jr. Yo, this is so fantastic. Oh my god, bro. And it was chopped off leg. Yeah, being on the battlefield with those monsters might felt like, yo, his leg is fucked up. What the fuck? Was もっとよろよくやれよ。逃げろ。ゴールドロジャーが大海賊時代を始めなければ。ですね。It's that guy's voice, it's Luffy. Look at me, how and Crocodile. <laughs> They're just fucking between them. They can do a shit. <laughs> oh my god, bro. It's Luffy with days, bro. Oh, shit. So wait, is he telling that his brother survived because of Luffy and Days? Because they popped, popped out here and blew them away. That saved them, right? I see why you guys wanted me to see this man. This, this is phenomenal. Period of those two years. It was the day when they are supposed to meet, right? And look at them. Yo, what the fuck is this episode, bro? It's so cool. I fucking love seeing perspective of regular Navy soldiers, man. <laughs> yeah, these fucking Dijons. So big, Brooke. Wow, they are checking up on her. Bro, she was so close to pacifistas. Oh shit! Oh my god! He's looking great. Bro, this is making me so emotional, bro. The way they are doing it, it looks like a movie or something, man. It's so nice. It was the moment when he demonstrated that pacifistas are nothing to him basically now. <laughs> Look at him go as well. And then, all of these characters wanted to see some of the strong hits are getting the chance to do so. Oh, it's him. <laughs> Wholesaler family. Hungry grocer family. Darking railing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, if you pass here, you will suffer the consequences. <laughs> she is definitely like Nami. Are those the guys from the bar? <laughs> yeah, good luck. Oh no! <laughs> My Frankie, my Zoro. Bro, are these gigantic insects here because of freaking Heraclason? Did he brought them here? The guy that was of 20. Oof. 
As if that guy Helmepo became a gym rat, man. Damn. Ah, uh, poor girl. She thought that they, the Navy soldiers had a chance here. Bro, the way he's... Oh, look at the pieces of puzzle. He's supposed to be like a good guy, like Navy soldiers. For the citizens, for the civilians. Yo, it's her dreams literally shutting down, bro, because of this bus. The pieces are getting back together. <laughs> Let's go. The letter. Yeah, they, they, they think it's a lot. That's key. Oh shit! <laughs> they can't catch her! Go girl! Oh shit! <laughs> she went in between his legs! Let's go! Wow! Bro! It finally clicks. Did she jump into the sea? No, they caught her. There she is, Luffy. She sees her. <laughs> look at this guy, look at this job, he's so chopper, definitely. Oh, look at the tangerines and the letter as well. <laughs> wow. For so fucking good. This is the opening after the time skip. With Strohead singing it? That's so cool! <laughs> Zara is being lost! And we saw Luffy in disguise! The girl that works in the bookstore! And the kids that are visiting bookstore! And Sanji! Bro, what an incredible episode! Oh, that fucker! <laughs> Jumper with the pink stockings! The guys with, from the bear, bar! One of the brothers! Nah, uh, Robin being careful, of course! Frankie and the other brother! A brook with his glasses! His fans. Ah, man. The patched up letter. There she is. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not probably supposed to watch this. Uh, I... I don't know what the fuck was I expecting, but that blew me away, man. That was so incredible. Yeah, it's always like when there is a big battle going on involving Navy and mass of other characters that are like regular people, right? 
for example, like in Aeneas Lobby as well, during the Buster Call and all of that, and all of the Navy soldiers right, fighting these crazy powerful dudes with devil fruits and all sorts of powers. They just know they have no chance. And some of the powers are like producing these like massive shockwaves and attacks and poor souls when somebody uses Conqueror's Haki, right? They, they get fucking knocked out immediately and they they literally have no chance, man. And I think this is the first time that we actually got to see kind of how it looks from their perspective, man. That segment was so fucking amazing to me, man. The two brothers, right? The younger brother who so seems to have like better life than the older brother who as an eldest child, I guess, go, goes through it more than the younger child. And we saw that it, it was the same thing from their childhood, right? The older brother got scolded while the younger wasn't, right? And that kind of continued into the adulthood as well. But the younger brother was actually like showing love to his older brother and motivating him, right? It's not like he was making fun of him because he hated him. And I think... That's the point, and that uh, older brother realized that later, when on the battlefield, his brother was looking for him, man. That was a quite emotional moment. And the fact that they're alive is to Luffy and Ace. And he even brought that up, that Luffy had to watch Ace die before he sighs, man. And the older brother likes Luffy a lot, man. But they're still Navy soldiers stuff all, right? Trying to catch them and stuff. That was incredible, man. And seeing like just the scale of the battle, imagine being like a random navy soldier and all of a sudden like fucking icebergs show up, fucking gigantic creatures, leg fall on you, uh, these crazy guys, mihawk and crocodile are crashing, they don't even give a shit who is in front of them. They would die there probably, right? But because Luffy and Tays popped out, at that exact moment, right? It kind of pushed them away from the shockwave and all of that, like, just them appearing there like that, it's so chaotic, right? They're getting tossed around, right? And it also, like, makes that scene when Kobe was crying and when he was feeling the pain of all these people, right? That makes that scene even more powerful, right? When he stood up to Akainu as well, man. Holy shit. Marineford was such a damn good dark man, and I like seeing this from their POV, man. I was not expecting this shit. The girl who wanted to see the Soul King, right? We saw the, the comics with Frankie in it, that was very funny. Uh, the guy who is obsessed with Chopper, who seems like the mean, meanest person ever, right? That all the soldiers are afraid of. Meanwhile, he keeps tons of pictures of Chopper in his drawer, man. That was pretty pretty funny as well. And obviously the girl who is inspired by Nami, who wants to live really right, and just like her, and uh, who is uh, saying that uh, power is not like absolutely necessary for you to be free in this world. And that's why Nami is her inspiration, right? It doesn't have to be like some strong devil fruit or Aki to succeed, right? And that's why she's um, inspiration to that little girl, man, because Nami doesn't possess any of that. And she's still like fighting and she's part of this straw hit crew that is incredibly like uh, famous throughout the, the whole world, right? And that's why she's inspiring her, man. And she's not seeing them as the pillaging evil pirates, right? That is like the view of majority of the people probably in One Piece world, but she's seeing true Nami and she's also thinking like a strophe. She even got the message from Luffy, man, that goes to show you that she knows that they're that they're good people, man. So that's why the title is the fun letter. Incredible stuff, man. Incredible stuff. So that and also the way they animated this, I mean it it looks like totally different than like the regular One Piece episodes that I'm watching, man. Like it 
it's, it's completely different and i love it man it's like how to put it like more simpler but like it just works so well it's like i don't even know how how to describe that more fluid i guess it's incredible and the colors and everything like it was like a mini movie basically i was stunned and also the way that Luffy uh, punched Pacifista as well from that different angle, that was pretty wild. I loved everything about these episodes. So yeah, thank you guys for telling me to watch this, man. It was incredible. I loved it. I will end the video here for today. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.